Okay guys, so now is the packing day and leaving day. Today is a sat Saturday, 24th August. And it's time to go. After almost a year here. Uh, what's up guys? Now I mean, went through the security check, you know, like check your cabin luggage and scan everything now. So I'm gonna quickly find a lunch. Quickly find lunch in Terminal 4. It was very quick and easy for the scanning part and everything like that, which is uh, good, great. So I don't need to worry so much now. I'm already inside and my cabin is, my cabin, my bag, my bag is eight kilos. So, and the cabin is only allow seven. So yeah. Right here, Heathrow Terminal 4. Just gonna go to Pratt Manager because it seems like they have uh, like a food court thing going on there. Then after that, I'm gonna find a place to refill my bottle, get some water. Then after lunch, I'll you know, maybe look around and find a place to sit down and uh, maybe edit the vlog a little bit. But yeah. Terminal 4 So just walking around and finding different types of restaurants for me to eat because I want to find different types of restaurant just make sure they have proper meal you know like not like those small one I want like a, a meal there's one but it's expensive but I don't know I have to keep looking and I carry this 8 kilos um, baggage behind me walking like this it's very tiring yeah. they, certainly they don't have like fast food fast food restaurant here it's not like Singapore Changi it's a bit different uh, so but their food is also quite expensive as usual oh, there's a gadget store here you can go to the gadget here and have have a look yeah, so I'm just going back and maybe I will go to the commission or Costa. Maybe I have to look at Costa first, what type of meals they have. And then... And then I will decide. Lo. Very heavy the bag now. Oh, I'm now at this Costa um, type of thing here. I just bought a... Costa chicken and bacon. Just a simple starter before my lunch meal or something like that. Very simple. And a butter croissant here. Yeah, very nice. And guess what? Look at the view outside. Amazing to sit here and look at the planes. Really, really nice view, at least for me. And over there, you can see a few minutes pass by, you can see aeroplane taking off. Which I cannot zoom on the camera, but yeah. Very nice. It's very hot outside. Today is a very hot day. Just finished my basic uh, lunch, I guess. Just a very, very basic lunch, and I think I'll find a place to refill my bottle now. And yeah, that's what I have. Costa. Guys, just look at this view here. Whoa. Two Qatar Airways together. Look at that, oh, A380, a god plane. So I'm just at this part of the airport right now that is very, very quiet. There's no one here, I think this is the end, at the edge now.
plane right there and uh, boarding time should be very very soon now so I'm going to the gate going to the gate which is not far from here it's just a few walk over there yeah people are start coming people start to come in already definitely a busy flight I guess The A trade, you look at that. Oh. Hello. Good afternoon. Thank you. Oh, business class behind. Okay, so this is the Boeing eight seven eight seven. My seat is forty G. So I'm now settled to my seat. Oh, very spacious. Very spacious. The leg room. Insane leg room. Insane leg room. Rasulullah wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Walhamdulillah. There's some prayer going on now. sound I don't know if you guys can hear me or not but uh, I'm using this for my microphone here just left London Heathrow and there's a slight delay just now just under 30 minutes we should arrive our cruising altitude and uh, the cabin crew now is walking around trying to ask anyone who is uh, going to Brunei so they can give you the Brunei uh, arrival now we are 13,000 feet, 13,500 feet now. There are two sets of uh, pilot flying today, so four people in total. Uh, there's slight delay, like I mentioned just now. And then after that, push back. One of the towing car got stuck in the plane. I don't know how, but that's what happened. And the plane moving like that. They are trying to get the towing car away from the plane, but it seems like it's stuck. So uh, yeah, now we are at altitude about 4,200 meters. The takeoff roll was quiet, uh, but so far it's good. Before takeoff, I managed to sleep, so uh, really good. Yeah, that's all for now. I hope you can see me. I will try to I will try to uh, mount the GoPro in front there, and if you can see that somewhere there, so I can get a nice uh, shot of me i don't know how close i am now but yeah i hope the audio is clear because i'm using this for the first time so yeah see you guys later oh now the plane is turning now i can feel the plane turning like this oh yeah one more thing is no one sitting beside me so i feel a bit i feel a bit comfortable when no one is beside me so good flight 13 hour so I just adjusted the microphone sensitivity hopefully now it's much louder because it's a lot of sound I'm trying my best to find the best way to record audio on this vlog uh, it's quite hard actually but uh, I try not to put in other people's face inside the vlog but uh, because I don't have their permission and some of them might not like it so uh, but yeah I think I can start editing now I guess maybe the food comes first oh yeah I also brought the uh, what do you call that the croissant I bought a croissant it's right there I can eat the croissant if I'm hungry because this is like a 13 hour flight like very very long you know no joke completely no joke If you can hear me or not, because I don't have a way to sing the audio, but I just want to give you a quick tour of my seat. Uh, not the best tour in the world, but okay, guys. So, one more thing is uh, I realized the screen cannot be tilted. So, if people behind you or people in front of you, if they tilt their chair, incline their chair, the screen you cannot you see, I just cannot look at other people how they do it oh that's how you're gonna watch your 
That's how you're gonna watch your entertainment for 13 hours like that. Yeah, there's no way. There's completely no way to tilt it. I have no idea. Oh well, never mind. See me. I hope the sound is clear. So I brought this suction cup. I brought this suction cup, hoping to stick it somewhere. But it seems that the chair in front, that one wouldn't accept the suction cup, I think it's only on window uh, not, not this time actually, we are now at Brussels in Brussels now flying over Brussels and uh, oh, we are now at 30,000 feet 30,000 feet now I'm now in the toilet and at the time of recording now it's about half 11 I think we are about almost 5-6 hours into our flight and I just finished a movie it's called X-Men Dark Phoenix and uh, I can't vlog outside because outside is quite dark everyone's sleeping and I don't want to turn on the light but I just want to tell you it's such an amazing movie I don't know how to explain to you guys Hans Zimmer's music is just insane it's just what a good rest he he took a nice rest from composing a superhero movie but X-Men Dark Phoenix is just so nice the soundtrack is like really nice it came out uh, back in early June when I was in Sheffield Dog Fest now it's August already coming to September really amazing movie really like the characters I don't know there's something about X-Men that I really like compared to the other Marvel superheroes but one thing about X-Men I really really like them for Dark Phoenix movie is like oh I don't know how to explain it's like really really it's just nice lah the soundtrack is completely different from the previous one but this is so nice like really nice yeah I don't know I'm, I don't know it's just nice and uh, yeah I'm just inside the toilet now and I think that's all I think I'm going to try to go for sleep because everyone is asleep now uh, but if can I will watch the other movies is there water on the lens now yeah, I hope you can hear me uh, but yeah that's all for now really good movie X-Men Dark Phoenix good I'll try to watch other movies as well like Aladdin and uh, what else I forget there's quite a lot of movies that I didn't realize I missed but oh and what else I forget yeah Aladdin and others inside very good those movies I missed when it came out I can watch on this flight I'll see you guys later bye bye it's all good you can see where we are <clears throat> um, definitely midnight it's midnight now yeah oh. and we are flying at 37,000 feet uh, yeah we're flying at 37,000 feet now We are now, uh, there's uh, plenty of turbulence and I just woke up from a very inconsistent sleep and the plane is like shaking like shit now yeah and the seatbelt sign is not on but everyone is still quite asleep we are now about uh, 39,000 feet just above Bangkok now if you can see here I don't know if you can see that but that's Bangkok very near to Bangkok and uh, yeah there you go we have 2 hours 32 minutes to Brunei and that's 2 
thousand. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's been ten hours fifty one minutes into the flight now, and so far I have a very inconsistent sleep. Um, but at least I slept a little bit. It was quite shaky starting from the Indian, yeah, the in India starting from India area like Mumbai area there. I don't know if you know that, but starting from Mumbai area to the Indian Ocean now near to Bangkok, quite shaky. wasn't that severe, but it was shaky, and uh, several times the seatbelt sign was on. So, and that was the time I was sleeping. Uh, I think I still need to sleep more, but I don't think I can sleep again because it's already daytime. But what I, but what I uh, realize is the cabin right now is blue color. Let me show you. The cabin right now is blue color. And I thought, I, I said to myself, I said, isn't it like 11 a.m., 12 p.m. around this local area here, like Bangkok? Why is it blue color? Then I found out, oh, it's actually the window shades. Boeing 787, their window, they don't have the, you know, you pull down that type of thing. This is like a, you have to press and then it will go darker, you know, like a built-in variable ND filter, something like that. Because I went back, I was like, oh, it's so dark here, so blue color, what's wrong? Then I went back to get the water, to get my water bottle fill up, I saw one window, bright, outside it's very bright right now, it's just, it's just, I don't know how to explain to you, that's one thing I think very special about the Boeing 787 is that their windows, instead of pulling down the, the shade or whatever, you can press it and the after effect of that is to create a very nice lighting mood like this blue color is like putting you to sleep very very nice yeah so that's the update for now i might need to charge the gopro battery uh, but that should be okay yeah i don't know if you can see outside oh yeah i don't think you can see the wing outside but just by looking at oh it's quite dark there I don't can see that so I don't think I can see and last thing I realized when I look outside of the window from my seat I realized the specialty of this plane is that the wing flex when it flies you know why it's flex it's like it's, it's not straight it's not straight but it's, it's flex so it's quite interesting uh, design I've never seen that before uh, but yeah we are just approaching Bangkok now I just want to quickly show you what I'm eating for breakfast this is I especially order low cholesterol and low fat meal which is what you need in a 13 hour flight to keep your nutrients going not the meat and all those stuff so Uh, that's some kind of fruits there, I don't know, but that's very nice. I I ate those in the previous meal just now and it was very good. I didn't finish it because I was full, but let me have a look. Let me open and have a look. Okay, this meal is a bit different from the previous meal, but I think I like this meal more. Just look at the... Look at that. Uh, there's some kind... Let me just... Isn't that healthy? <laughs> yeah, I think I, I'm gonna enjoy this meal very much. So let me just eat first because if I put the camera away, it's gonna be a bit dark. You cannot see me. So yeah, and it's cloudy outside. I don't know if I can show you. No, I don't think I can show you, but it's okay. Thank you. Good. 13 flight, 13 hour flight over. Oh.